Hi, my name is Chris, and my amateur radio call sign is K0SWE. And today we're looking at the Kenwood TMD 710G. It's installed here in the truck. It is an FM dual bander. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at the crossband repeat feature. The TMD 710 has a bunch of great features, and one of those is the crossband repeater. This will let you transmit whatever one side of the radio receives, so you can bridge across different frequencies using this feature. To demonstrate this feature, I've got uh, two HTs here that I'm going to use uh, to simulate different pieces of the equation. Now to make sure that this is all something you can follow at home, I've done a complete factory reset of this radio. I'll load in my code plug again later. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn on the radio. And we're greeted with the default welcome message. And here we've got both sides of the radio are in VFO mode currently. Uh, let's go ahead and program both sides to simplex frequencies. Now since this crossband repeater is, uh, as the name suggests, is crossband, so you need to have one side of the radio on VHF and the other side of the radio must be in UHF. Uh, you cannot do V to V or U to U. It must be cross uh, VHF to UHF and vice versa. Alright, so I got my handy dandy notebook here. Uh, on the VHF side we're going to program this to 146400 one, four, six. Just turning the uh, VFO dial here. 400. And let's make sure that that talks with my H. K0SWE. K0SWE. Yep, looks like that side works. Now, I'll use this button to change the side of the radio that has PTT and control. So now I'm using this side of the radio. Let's program that to 445700. Actually, let's go up to 446 and go down. There we go. And test with the HT on that side. 45700. K0SWE. K0SWE. Yep, that works. Alright. So now that we've got that much done, let's take a look at what we're here for, the crossband repeater function. So, let's hit the function soft key here, and then tap in on the VFO to go into the menu. Now I'm going to head down to the repeater setting and press in. Uh, the first couple settings here are for talking to repeaters, but here, starting with 403, we can see the repeater mode is cross-band. So when we restart this radio in cross-band mode, it's going to be cross-band. Uh, both sides are going to be able to talk to each other. Um, the other options here are locked TXA, locked TXB. Uh, the next menu setting you want to look at is repeater ID. So at least here in the United States, if you're running a repeater, it needs to be able to automatically send out the call sign of the control operator. So that's going to be me. I'm going to press in to start text entry. And then this is a little bit tedious, but it's not too complicated. You just spin the dial until it shows the letter you want. Press in and repeat. K0. S 
and after you've hit the last letter there that you need, it should be flashing with an underline, and when you press in on that, it'll end the text entry. All right, so we got our repeater ID. Now we've got to say how that's going to be sent out. Repeater ID transmission, we can set that to either Morse or Voice. But note with Voice, you've got to have the optional voice encoder installed in your radio. I don't have that on mine, so I'm going to choose Morse. And then we can escape out of the menus. Now to actually enable the crossband repeater, we're going to turn off the radio. We're going to use this third soft button. Press that while you're turning the radio on. And now you'll notice a lot of the controls are gone from the display. This is in crossband repeater mode right now. And there's really not much you can do with these soft buttons anymore. The only thing you can do is turn it off. Uh, you can control the volume with these knobs still. You can control the squelch level. Uh, but really, the only thing it's doing is listening. And if it hears something, it's going to transmit it to the other side. So let me start with transmitting on the UHF radio here. K0SWE. You notice it went busy on this side, it was listening, and it was repeating it over to this side. It was on air, it was transmitting. K0SWE. Alright, and since I'm in crossband mode, I can use the other direction as well. I can transmit on the VHF radio. K0SWE. And it will transmit it the other direction. So this is really handy. Uh, right now we've just got two simplex uh, frequencies in here. We, do not, we do not have any tones set up, uh, but we can go back and do that. Let's turn off the radio. Notice if you just turn the radio back on, it goes back into repeat mode. So to get it back into normal mode, you've got to hit that third button again and turn it back on. And you get all of your controls back. Uh, so let's try it with codes on either side. Uh, let's set up... I'm going to set up a tone on this side. And to set that tone... I'm going to come here to T-select. And for this side, let's just use 103.5. Now I'm going to head back to the VHF side. And you need to turn on tone first. Then if you go into the function menu, you can actually set it with T-select. And 88.5, that's fine. So just a moment while I set those up on my HTs. Alright, I've got those same tones in my HTs now. So, we're going to shut down the radio, go back into repeater mode, and with two simplex frequencies and tone, K0SWE, K0SWE, that still works in both directions. Well, now that we've got simplex covered, let's try and set up one of these sides as if it were a repeater. I think the most common use case I hear for crossband repeater is, say you're going up in the mountains for a hike, uh, you would like to take your HT with you, but you're not going to be able to reach uh, the repeater up on the hill because it's going to be shadowed by the mountain. You will be able to reach your vehicle. So you're going to set up your vehicle in crossband repeat mode. You're going to talk with your HT down to the vehicle, and the vehicle is going to talk back to the repeater. Let's go ahead and set that up. Uh, and just for arbitrary sake, I'm going to use the UHF side as my uh, fake repeater and the VHF side as my simplex frequency to my HT. 
So let's keep the VHF frequency and the UHF frequency will change. Uh, I've got uh, a couple of repeater frequency pairs here. I'm going to change the listening frequency to 449425. 449 425. Uh, Kenwood is nice about automatically figuring out that that's supposed to be a minus shift repeater frequency. Uh, so when I transmit on this, it's going to go to 5 megahertz below, which it does. All right, uh, let's restart this in crossband repeater mode and see that that works. Uh, let's just tune my HT over here, 449.425. And my HT, I'm actually going to have to put this in reverse mode or talk around mode so that it's acting like the repeater. It's receiving on the repeater's in frequency and it's transmitting on the repeater's out frequency. Alright, so let's try transmitting on VHF and see that it comes out on the repeater. K0SWE and the other way works as well. K0SWE. Great. So now we've got a simplex frequency with a tone. We've got a repeater shift frequency with a tone. Uh, can we do two repeaters? Let's try it out. Alright, let's come back to the VHF side and we'll set that up as if it were a repeater. Uh, 446775. 4, 6, 7, 7, 5. Here we go. Uh, and as the radio chose, that is in fact a minus shift. Uh, it's minus 600 on VHF. So I should see this shift to 146, 175 when it's transmitting, which it does. Okay. Restart here, and I'll set up my HT as if it were that repeater. One four six seven seven five. Okay, and this HT is also in reverse mode or talk around mode, so that it uh, is acting as if it were a repeater. So let's try cross banding between repeaters this way. K0SWE. K0SWE. That does work. So you can link two repeaters using this radio. Uh, I would not recommend doing that without letting the repeater owners know. Uh, you could potentially create a lot of interference doing this. Uh, but if you were in a situation uh, where you felt this was necessary, you could do it. All right, so let's talk about one thing here that I missed that uh, is actually pretty important. You don't really want to run this crossband repeater on high power, which is what this H here means. Uh, you would really rather run it on the lowest power possible, uh, not only because that's required by law, but also because you're going to run too much power through this radio. Uh, the high power on these radios is really meant for 50% duty cycle or less. Uh, that means you're talking 50% of the time and you're listening 50% of the time. Um, if you're running it more than that, then the, the radio will heat up and you have a chance of burning it out. And if you're running this crossband repeater, it's transmitting any time either side is transmitting. So it's very likely that you will run this radio too hot and burn it out. So I recommend you stick to low or medium power when you're running this crossband. 
So that covers everything I wanted to show you today. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer to the my best of my ability. Uh, I'm not an expert on this radio, but it's one of my favorites and I really enjoy using it. So until next time, 73 from K0SWE.